Is there lift, heavy lifting involved in Nerds pole dancing? <laughs> Hey, first of all, I want to say uh, sorry that this video is a day late. Uh, I just spent the last three days in Vegas for my friend's birthday. And then Jacob had an all day CrossFit competition yesterday. So I basically haven't been home for like four days. I just woke up I'm very sleepy. Here I am for you. And I'm here to tell you about what I did this week. This week, I took a pole dancing class. Everyone say hello to Harry. So, a lot, I know that there, hmm, what are words? Lots of women uh, take pole dancing class as uh, their preferred method of fitness. And I have never taken a pole dancing class. I've never tried pole dancing. I have never really tried any kind of uh, dancing. Now, I am not in with the pole dancing community, but I imagine there are probably a lot of uh, people that criticize it as like not being a sport or not being not being a sport or not being legitimate fitness, whatever. Uh, so I decided to just try it out for myself um, and see how it felt and how it was and what the class was like and to kind of determine just for myself and my own opinion if pole dancing can be a legitimate method of fitness. Spoiler alert! It can. Okay, so I'm gonna shut my car off so it doesn't make a bunch of noise. So, so one of our friends at the gym also teaches pole dancing classes. Yes, well, I can't believe we're doing this. And so here we are. We're gonna try pole dancing. I don't know what to expect. I've never tried anything like this before. I am not um, what I would say in touch with my sexuality. <laughs> Or sensuality. Sensu sex, yeah, the sexy side, right? Yeah, I, it's not something that um, I'm super in touch with. I don't know. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here, but apparently this is a type of fitness class that people take, and so we're gonna try it because it's good and fun and important to constantly try new modalities of fitness. Right? Yo. <laughs> I guess we'll go in now. We start warming up, which is like, yeah, sure, that makes sense. But she starts with 50 jumping jacks and 30 air squats, which is like, I know it's not a lot, but it was definitely more than I was expecting to encounter in a pole dancing class. That was kind of the moment where I was like, yep, I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked today. <laughs> After we got our heart rate up a little bit, we started stretching and that was nice. And then <laughs> she's like, move your hips this way, move your hips that way, move your hips this way. And I was like, great, we're warming up our hips. That's probably gonna be important. And then she's like, and now rub your hands on your body and be sexy. And I was like, whoa, you tricked me. We're just warming up. I'm not ready for this yet. They can't, right? They just wanna hang out. They can't. They can also do a lot of other things. And it's funny. So it's good to It's not the fitness part of pole dancing that scares me. It's the sexy part. I don't know how to do sexy. I'm not a sexy person. I like more I'll do the sexy. Then the warm up was over and we moved to the pole and we kind of put the sexy stuff aside for a minute, which was nice. Um, and we started walking around the pole, which was easy enough. I mean, I know how to walk on my toes. And then she was like, okay, this will be your first little transition. It's like not even a trick and it'll be really easy. <laughs> and it was like this pirouette thing. Uh, and it was so hard. I felt like that did not bode well for the rest of the class. Uh, but I kept trying. Yes, beautiful Jordan. I yes. almost took the pole down. <laughs> and so then she taught us this trick called the around the world. So around the world, planting with the inside foot, I'm gonna sweep my outside foot out and around. You are trying to get as much space from your connected hand to your foot. You're setting this fucker out in the orbit. And you like kind of like swing your leg around and then you do a little like, fun dip and then you come up again. And it was so much fun. And I dipped myself. She tacked on like an ending to the around the world and you just like spun around the pole until you like hit the floor. Uh, and that was so much fun and I loved that trick. I got the cramp. 
and it actually was way easier to learn than the pirouette. So then I, my, I got my hopes up again and I was like, okay, maybe we'll, I can still do all the cool stuff. It'll be great. I went on such a roller coaster of emotions during this class because like, oh shit, well, cardio warm up. I hate this. Oh, we're stretching. This is nice. Oh shit, sexy stretching. I hate this. Oh, we're walking around the pole. This is nice. Oh, this is really tough pirouette thing. I can't do anything. This is stupid. Oh, the fun around the world trick and then you spin and it's so much fun and it's easy and you can do it. And I'm so excited. And then the around the world brought us to the floor and she's like, okay, now you can't just stand up. I'm like, what do you mean I can't just stand up? And she's like, you gotta get up off the floor all sexy like. And I was like, great. Here comes the sexy part again. This is terrible. Yep, and yes. then you open one leg, open the next leg. Yes! Open it's coming. I just feel like I'm standing And then booty up. up. Yes! Boom! When you add, you know, sad will do sass and you're not standing up. So I made a vow in that moment to just never let my knees touch the floor so that I never had to get up all sexy like. So take that, Leah. Then she started to teach us different ways to kind of pull ourselves up off the floor. I don't know how to describe this. I mean, it was very cool. Um, it was very fun. I don't think I ever got to a point where I could make it sexy. I think I was looking like I was struggling the whole time. And you know what? That was enough for me. And so then she said that we learned all we were gonna learn for the day and we were gonna do some free dancing. And I, oh, you guys. I've never taken an improv class. I hate it, it terrifies me. The very thought of it terrifies me. I don't like any kind of freestyle anything. Like this was kind of my worst nightmare. I had to basically improv a pole routine and also be sexy at the same time. Like it was my worst nightmare. But she turned the lights down and put some good music on and we only had to do it for a minute at a time. But it definitely was not as terrifying as I thought it was going to be and I it was actually a little bit fun <laughs> We're doing it still, but apart from that, it was still very fun and it was still very challenging. And so I definitely, by the end of the class, I was definitely enjoying myself, even if I felt like I wasn't totally nailing it. That's what she said. In conclusion, pole dancing is hard. It is definitely a legitimate style of fitness. Like more power to all the women and men who do this. It's friggin' hard. And it's hard and you have to be sexy at the same time, which makes it like double hard. I would recommend anybody who's even a little bit intrigued by this to give it a try because let me tell you, it's different than what you probably think it's gonna be like, but in a good way. Um, that's all I got for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't laugh at me too much. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned and I promise I won't be late next week. I'll be on time for sure. Fingers.